In this video, we're talking about normal distributions. We need to start about start talking about the properties of normal distributions. I'm going to go through these fairly quickly. Um, but one of the properties is that the mean and the median and the mode are equal. And it, you should know that if the mean and the median are equal, that your distribution is bell-shaped and symmetric. So that leads us to the next one. It says that the normal curve is bell-shaped and symmetric about the mean. In other words, the mean is right in the middle of your distribution. The third thing that is true is the total area under the normal curve is equal to 1. So now we're dealing with... Um, continuous variables so when we have a bell-shaped curve that looks like this that represents a normal distribution the area under this curve represents probability and the probability of an entire distribution is equal to one so that's why the area under this curve is equal to one because it represents probability of a distribution for a continuous random variable and in this case the area is equal to one so let's continue here two other properties the next one says the normal curve approaches but never touches the x-axis so down here this curve looks like it touches the x-axis or the or the horizontal axis here but in reality it's getting really 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 close without touching um, it's kinda like an asymptote um, let's go to the last one here and that is that the points of inflection on the curve are one standard deviation away from the mean so let's draw that down here in this picture in the middle of this distribution since it's bell shaped and symmetric is the mean so the mean is right here and if I were to go one standard deviation in either direction so if I go one standard deviation this way to the right and one standard deviation this way to the left I am at a spot on the curve where the point of inflection occurs so this little dot let's put a little happy face here this little happy face here and this little happy face here these are the points of inflection and they're not exactly in the same place when I put them on there there they go that looks a little bit better so if I go one standard deviation this would be one standard deviation away this would be one standard deviation away in the other direction I am at the point of inflection so those are the basics and those are the properties for a uh, for a normal model now in my next video I'm gonna actually try to I'm gonna actually use the normal model to uh, find some different things